Hello guys, uh, I would like to explain how to use open fast in your computer. Actually, uh, a lot of people ask me uh, how uh, we can install open fast in your computer. Actually, you don't need to install open fast in your computer. You can just download all the necessary files from GitHub and use it for all your uh, simulations. Uh, you can compile it from source, but that's something else. Uh, if you are able to, uh, like if you're an advanced user and if you can uh, edit uh, the source code uh, for your own purposes, then you can uh, compile it from source. That's another thing. And uh, if you want to do that, uh, you can use that. You can do that in Windows or you can do that, use that. Uh, you can do that using Linux. Uh, I found it easier to use Linux for that, but uh, it's not really necessary to do that. So if you just want to do some simulations, if you want to uh, learn how to use OpenFast, then you can simply download all the necessary files uh, from GitHub and use it. Uh, this is this this tutorial is for absolute beginners. There are a lot of things you can do with OpenFast. Uh, there are different ways of using it, but this is just for beginners. So uh, advanced users, uh, please excuse me for that. So uh, uh, you have to go to this page, uh, the GitHub.com slash OpenFast slash OpenFast. This is the repository of OpenFast where you can download all the necessary files. So you have to use, uh, you have to download uh, the files I uh, am going to show you. So first you have to download all these files. For that you have to, you can, you can go to this web page and use uh, download zip. And then you have to use uh, the exe files, openfast.exe files for executing OpenFast. So you have to go to this link, OpenFast uh, v3.0, that's the latest version of OpenFast. Uh, go to that page. This is the page, and from here you have to download discount dll uh, dot zip uh, map x sixty four dot dll and openfast x sixty four dot exe. These files are really necessary. There are other files like fast for farm, which are which is used for uh, simulating farm in farms. For now, uh, I'm not going to that. We'll just go for the basic openfast x sixty four dot exe file, and uh so one more folder you need to download it's here the regression test uh r test this folder you have to download uh you can simply go here uh download it you can use git for that but uh, it's not really necessary if you're an absolute beginner if you don't want to learn git or if you just to keep it simple you can just download as a zip file and extract it so i will uh go to the files we have so these are the uh, files I downloaded from GitHub and I already just extracted them. So you can see the discount DLLs, uh, the open fast name, uh, R test, which contains the data of uh, of the different simulations or all different kinds of test cases you have. Like you can see this is this this five megawatt baseline contains the details of the uh, five megawatt wind turbine, um, some hydrodyne, uh, aerod uh, aerodyne, uh, turbodyne uh, files. Those are the components of uh, uh, OpenFast. Uh, I will come to them later. Uh, well, anyway, we have all these files here. And then what you need to do is you have to extract all of them. And then uh, you have the OpenFast main file here, uh, the folder here. So you have uh, all these files. You don't need to bother about them now. So you better put the R test in here. For now, I'll just uh, keep it outside. So you have the R test, I'll extract it here. Now we have the openfast x64.exe. This is the main executable file of uh, uh, for openfast. So let's see how we can run this. So for that, you have to go to uh, the R test, uh, the code, openfast. Uh, you have to choose one test case. So let's say I will just go for uh, this one, uh, 5 megawatt OC4 semi uh, submersible linear. So you can see some files here uh, servodyne, hydrodyne, blastodyne, blastodyne uh, tower, uh, all these files. So uh, OpenFast has different modules elastodyne, uh, field width elastic, uh, the structural details of the, the tower, of the wind turbine. Uh, and hydrodyne deals with the hydrodynamics of the floater, and the server day deals with the controls. So for now, I will just uh, just skip this part. I will I will show you how to run OpenFast. 
so we have all the necessary files here so we need to get the location of openfast.exe file so this is the location of the file of the exe file copy that one then you go into archive not use archive archive and this folds the fast uh then in linear okay so we are going to run uh open fast uh underscore x underscore t exe from here so hold shift right click and open the powershell window so we need to go to this folder so we are in here oops sorry i think we have lost the uh, location of this file i'll do it again so here we go Here we are. So I will paste it, and uh, the name of our file is openfast underscore underscore x underscore dot exe, and uh, the name of this file, this dot fst file is the fast file. So we have to keep the dot uh, exe file followed a space and followed by the name of the fast file we are trying to run. go so open fast is running so you can see uh, this is how we run open fast so open fast reads all these files one by one and uses uh, all the uh, all the data that's required to uh, run a simulation so let's uh, let it run there I'll just show you uh, what's inside here so uh, if you have a look at it, you can see uh, uh, the different details of different files, different inputs uh, that OpenFast is going to use. So let's see here, uh, this Bmax is the uh, the time, the maximum time OpenFast is going to run. And you, you can specify DT, the time steps. Uh, so from the last, you, you, you can ask OpenFast to run the last to dime, you can ask uh, OpenFast to run uh, inflow wind uh, file which contains the details of the uh, the wind flow the wind speed and all those details uh, aerodynamics uh, it runs aerodyne if you put one it will use aerodyne v1 v14 if you put two it will run aerodyne v15 and if you go inside the aerodyne file you can find the details of uh, of the various inputs about the wind uh, all the stuffs and then you can uh, use uh, servodyne for control and you can use hydrodyne for the hydrodynamics if you are using uh, floating wind turbines or fixed wind turbines mainly offshore wind turbines and also you can use substructural dynamics you can use mooring all those things are here so we have to specify uh, the input files for those if you want to run hydro hydrodyne you have to, use, you have to specify uh, here the hydrodyne input file uh, all those things are inside here and you can find all those files here uh, but I'm not going into it now uh, it needs a little bit of time to explain what's inside all these files and how you can uh, change different some values and see how it's going to uh, affect the simulation all those stuff and also here 5 megawatt baseline it also contains some details uh, it also it contains the details of the uh, wind, uh, contains details of the blade, of the tower, and also uh, hydrodynamic data, uh, which we extract from Wamit. Uh, all those things are here. But it takes some time to explain all those. Uh, for now, I can tell you that uh, uh, with this video, I will try. I'm explaining how to run OpenFast and. What you can do is you can go inside the fast file. Doesn't have a 
going to be this you can open any other folder uh, going to the fst file uh, check out the options uh, what's happening in here and uh, open uh, the files like i dine and see what's here you can also go to you can simply google and find the hydrodyne manual uh, you can find the last dyne manual so then everything is available uh, on the internet you can download them and see what all these uh, all these uh, uh, this way more ways all these things mean and then you can uh, try changing all these values and try to run open fast uh, and uh, see what's ha going to happen with the results so I'll show you where the result files are so this dot out is the output file you can try to open it using using uh, uh, use notepad plus plus so you have the time, the search, the platforms way, platform key, platform role, all the hydrodynamic details, and you can also add the outputs if you want. Uh, you, you have to go to the uh, the module, the the help file, go, go to the manuals, and try to find out what open what uh, uh, results you need, and you can just put them uh, in the input files. For example, this is hydrodynamic file, and you can see uh, this. This just has the elevation output. So in this output channels, you can put the output you need. But uh, it comes with a little bit of uh, practice and uh, getting to know the software a little more, a little well. And you can just try out different options and see uh, what what will uh, happen when you change those values and uh, when you change the inputs and all those things. So uh, that's the that's a very basic explanation, very basic video. Uh, that shows uh, you how to use OpenFast, how to run it. Uh, so everybody, just uh, follow this and uh, try to run OpenFast, uh, like what I showed you now. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to do this. You can here. I just copied and I just copy pasted the uh, the, the location. You can add this path into the environmental variables, and then you can run it from anywhere. All those are a little uh, little grants, like uh, you have to work. A little bit on that, but uh, I'm not going into those details now. This is very basic. Uh, if you want to run open fast, this is how you do it. Uh, thank you.